do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos during the process of absorption of nutrients what actually takes place is nutrients which are produced by the process of digestion are finally given to the circulatory system and through the circulatory system and the lymphatic system of the body all the cells receive these nutrients but this process is not so simple there are two mechanisms working together just to make sure that this process is fast quick and appropriate and those two mechanisms are simple diffusion and facilitated diffusion now when i say simple diffusion it is movement of the substance across membranes or across liquids with the help of water or simple liquids when i say facilitated diffusion now facilitated diffusion the name says facility during facilitated diffusion certain carrier molecules are used to carry those proteins or those broken amino acids or those broken carbohydrates apart from that inside your intestine small intestine basically salt and water are absorbed finally at a greater proportion inside your stomach little absorption of water takes place alcohol simple salts your food material etc most of the food material if you talk about are absorbed in small intestine whereas stomach does the process of breaking down of food absorption of nutrients the process by which nutrients are produced after digestion are circulated through body via your blood or portal circulation or through your lymph node circulation and they are supplied to all body cells there are basically three different mechanisms which are majorly involved in this process first one is simple diffusion or you can say the simple diffusion process facilitated diffusion process and the active transport the three processes that are involved are simple diffusion which is movement of a substance across membrane and this basically refers to water or small lipid molecules or fat molecules now facilitated diffusion basically requires a carrier molecule or a helper molecule to carry the molecules active transport is basically for salt sodium potassium magnesium all of them even for calcium and they require carrier as well as an energy molecule to carry different particles 
students in this part of the chapter we had studied about how absorption of food takes place through all the methods of simple diffusion facilitated diffusion or active transport i hope you all are clear about this concept thank you